Blessings, everybody. God bless you guys in Jesus' name. As I was in prayer this morning, the Lord reminded me of a vision that I had that was a warning to ministers. I repeat again, the Lord reminded me of a vision that I had in regards and a warning to ministers of those who say they belong to Jesus. And the warning and the vision that I saw was this. So, and this was over over two years ago where I had this vision. I saw in this vision, I saw many men and many women that were proclaiming or were supposed to be proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. We're supposed to be preaching the gospel of Christ, but ended up changing and redirecting what they began in the beginning. As I'm watching, the Lord spoke to me in this vision, and he says, pay close attention of what I'm about to do. All of a sudden, I see a hand in all of these ministers male and female, I saw all of these people who have been misrepresenting Christ. I saw the Lord reach his hand in their mouth and he removed his word. His word was no longer in their mouth, but yet they kept on going on doing ministry. Not even knowing his word had departed from their life. Pay close attention. Not even knowing that his word had been removed from their mouth. Every single one of them. And I remember that when I saw this, the people didn't even know it was happening. The people didn't even know the hand of the Lord grabbed his word that was in their mouth and removed it from them. Hear me, hear me, brothers and sisters. Ministry is not something you just do thinking it's a game and anyone can just step into it. Or, put, or or self-appoint themselves to. It is God that puts his word in the mouth of those in whom he calls and chooses to. So I remember in this time, after this vision that I received from the Lord, I then said to myself, where is this in the word? Here we go. Jeremiah chapter one, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Isaiah 51, and I have put my words in your mouth. Notice, emphasis, Whose words? His words. So why are these people, ministers, who say they're preachers of the gospel, the good news of the kingdom, why are they not proclaiming and declaring his words? This is a warning to every minister. This is a warning to every person that wants to stand and say you represent Christ. You are going to be held accountable. And you won't even know if the Lord has removed his word from your mouth if you want to keep on giving yourself over as a reprobate somebody, not taking heed to the warnings of the Lord when a man of God comes to warn you, to tell you, take heed and turn from thinking that ministry is about you. You need and you better get back to preaching the gospel of Christ. Again, Isaiah 51, 
and I have put my words in your mouth and have covered you with the shadow of my hand that I may fix the new heavens as a tabernacle and lay the foundations of a new earth and say to Zion, you are my people. Who's, who's his people? Those that stay true to Christ in you. Obedience to the faith in which you say you have. Now, 1 Samuel chapter 16. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul? How long will you mourn how long would you cry for Saul? How long would you cry for Saul? Seeing I, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel. See, there was a time where Saul was anointed. There was a time that Saul prophesied. But there was a time that it left. And a lot of people think that just because they pick up a Bible and they want to do a study or a devotion and they want to preach to people the word, not led of the spirit of truth, but led of a carnal human reasoning, man's ideologies and methods and man's doctrines or doctrines of demons, shall I say, and not hold true to the truth of what the Bible says of what we're to preach. It is not the words of what you want to say. It is the words of Christ. It is the power of the gospel. It is the spirit of truth that shall and will go forth to confirm his word that is even in your mouth. See, it is God's word that is with those in whom he chose. It is God's word that is in the belly of those who carry his presence on this earth. It is God's word that is with those that carry his gospel. So let this be a warning to many people upon the land. And I need for you to hear me and hear me clearly. If you don't think that God can't and if you don't think that he won't, Remove his word right from your mouth and you won't even know it. See, because people are playing, thinking it's grace, grace, hyper grace, and we get to do what we want to do. You do not get what you, you do not get to do what you want to do. Your life is no longer your own. If Jesus is Lord, then serve him. If Jesus is Lord, then that means what? Your life is no longer your own. You have no rights. You are submitted to the lordship of Jesus Christ. Your free will needs to be nailed to the cross. Your free will needs to be crucified. Your carnal nature and your, car your carnal human reasoning methods and, and doctrines and preachings and teachings needs to be submitted and crucified and laid down at the feet of Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. But let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. When I saw and I had this vision, the people kept on keeping on as if nothing even happened, not even knowing that God's word was removed from their life and his hand was off of their life. Understand this. There are many men and many women that started out, that started out right. Whereas today and down the road, there's going to be many where God, it will remove his word out of their mouth and remove his hand off of their life. This is your wake up call. This is bringing you back to first love from which you have fallen I love you enough to tell you the truth, but if the truth be told, if many don't turn and submit to Jesus, 